morning people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Annie Ame. And if you are new to my channel, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, for today, I decided to do a quick recipe on pork lice soup or kotuge lice soup. Oh yes. So for the guys on this platform, this is an opportunity for you to learn how to do a quick recipe for your rice, your banku, or your fufu. And I tell you, you can't miss a step without tasting a good and interesting culinary for yourself. Mm -hmm. So tag along as I take you through the step by step on how I finished the nicely looking pork or kotube lice. So first off, I wash my meat thoroughly in order to remove anything that is unwanted from it. One of my meat is smoked and one is salted. And so for the smoked one, I want to be sure that there are no debris of smoke on it. So that is what I'm doing. I'm cleaning them right in clean water. In fact, the water was hot in order for me to easily remove any unwanted debris from the skin. And I'm transferring them now into a bowl for me to wash that particular saucepan. Now my meat is ready. I set it in a saucepan and start prepping my spices. I use basically three spices, um, onion, ginger, and garlic. I'll show you that in a few minutes. You know, kitchen hazards would have to be avoided. And because of that, I decided to use the spoon instead of the knife to scrape off the peels of the ginger some prefer it on others don't well i'm indifferent for this soup i just decided to you know remove the peels not for any reason the following show garlic pepper and onions that i've prepped for this um, soup I add the ginger the ginger I just worked on to it and then there is a rosemary and garlic mix I love this spice so much and this is the tomato paste that we put in the soup later the meat is really tough so I decided to bring it to a boil for like 15 to 18 minutes um, so that it can be a little tender and so that is what I'm doing now I added just a little of salt and then I covered it for it to boil for some time 18 minutes was just okay yeah while my meat boils I put the pepper the ginger onions and garlic in the blender to blend it and that gave me the fine mixture and I poured it over after 15 minutes the boiling meat yes so i stir i stir thoroughly for every part of it to be well seasoned yeah and leave it to a boil for some time i bring my meat to a boil for about 15 minutes in order for the meat to be tender and chewable yeah occasionally i come to stir my meat in the stock in order for it not to get stuck under the pan yeah it is now time for my tomato paste to go into the soup and so i scoop it out with my spoon into the saucepan in order for the paste to have completely mixed with the stock i give it a stir a quick stir that will make it mash out into the stock yeah after it is thoroughly uh, messed i add my water um, because my meat is very hard i bring the water to the level of the hinges of the saucepan so that after it had boiled for a very long time it would cook the meat so tenderly yeah I give it another more stay for 
the paste to completely dissolve into the um, into the stock at this same time i've added the rosemary and garlic mix to the soup so that the um the soup gets well seasoned i'm more herbal so yeah the cloves of the rosemary are what you see on the surface of the soup i love to see my rosemary like that it gives that crunchy um, freshness and um you know eh, to the soup it's just an amazing experience from the beginning i didn't really add much salt so i add salt at this point um, quite an appreciable amount to the soup and leave it to come to a boil oh nanoko see how the soup is dancing agbaja oh my god <laughs> After about 45 minutes, our soup is almost done, but because of pressure, the saucepan is soiled. So I'm going to give it a clean. Yep, I'll clean the surface and um, the outside of the saucepan and do same for the inside. There should be no soap. You don't want to contaminate your soup. Yeah, and do same for the inside. Mm -hmm. Your soup is ready. Serve it hot with bangkun, rice, or even fufu. You will love it. See how the soup is boiling so softly on the fire. Yeah, if you love this video, please comment, like, share. And till I come your way next time, bye.